Alright, bet. Yes, yeah, so uh, we'll get started, me and you, and if he joins, he joins. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Uh, hopefully, if he does, it'll be sooner than later, because I'll be starting to get started. But uh, Alright, so let me, um, if you want to request, I can accept you, and uh, we can get started. So if you want to, uh, in the box down below, request to go live, uh, I'll be able to accept you in. All right, here we go, bet. Hello? Yo, what's good? Not much. How we doing? I'm good. I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. I appreciate you uh, coming on. Yeah, man. I'm glad you having me on here. I think your show is very interesting. Uh, I appreciate it. Well, uh, hopefully you'll enjoy. Like I said, if he joins, he joins. He doesn't, he doesn't. Uh, you know, we'll just see what happens. But um, if you've seen my stuff, you uh, you know, I do two different types of magic, which I'll do with you. You have the sleight of hand, for instance, something like this, where I can show you a pack of Trident gum, and I can show you uh, some gum inside, all right? Mm -hmm. but all I got to do is snap my fingers, and I can actually get it to change into a Hershey chocolate bar. What? And I like chocolate. Yes, like that. <laughs> so this is a little bit nice funny, but when I got into doing magic, uh, and I'll talk about that more at the end, I wanted to be different than most magicians. And as much as I wanted to do sleight of hand, I also wanted to do mind reading, something different. And so I want to try some mind reading with you right now, all right? All right. All right, so I have here four cards. And I want you to just imagine that they're the four queens. You have the two red queens, and then you have the two black queens. All right? Oh, I see you just joined. So I want you to name out loud, which two queens do you want to take out? Do you want to take out the red queens or take out the black queens? Let's take out the red queens. Right. Okay. So now we're doing this uh, virtually, right? Yeah. So if you were to virtually imagine you just took out the two red queens from my pack, they would now be in your hands. You just physically took them out. They're now in your hands. Which one do you want to flip face up, the heart or diamond? Diamond. Diamond, that's a good choice. I've had one card face up the whole time, the queen of diamonds. But see, I Yo. just sure you stay the queen of diamonds face up. I actually <laughs> took her from a different colored pack. But I was so sure you'd stay the queen of diamonds. I never bothered bringing the other three queens to be here. <laughs> Okay, okay. I see you. I see you, bro. All right, all right. Like, that's... all right. Um, we're gonna take it a step further now. Someone else is requesting. Oh, he just requested. So, she, you want me to accept him in? Yeah, yeah. Bring him in. All right, perfect. Uh, all right. That's crazy. I'm... All right. Hello. <laughs> What's happening, man? Not much. How What's good, doing? bro? Y'all doing some magic. <laughs> yeah, so I appreciate you uh, coming on. So I know he's gotten to see my stuff, but I, I do a lot of stuff for pro athletes. Um, I was accepted for America's Got Talent uh, next year, so I get to do a lot of cool stuff. And uh, I appreciate you both coming on. I just did one for him right there, but uh, I'd love to have you actually help me out for the next one. Is that cool with you? All right. Let's all right, do it. Perfect. So I have here a full deck of cards, all right? And I want you just to name any playing card. Besides the Jokers, you can name any card you want. All right, three of hearts. Three of hearts, okay. So now most magicians would go through the pack and they would find the card that you name. So in this case, the three of hearts, then they take it out, place it into the middle, push it, and they would try to find it. But I wanted to impress you. And that's why I did the impossible. See, I knew you were going to think of the three of hearts. And that's why I have actually been using a blank deck. And I never bothered bringing any cards to begin with, except for one card and one card only. And that is, in fact, the three of hearts. Just like that. And I'll go through one more time so everyone can see the only card. Ah, ah, what? Stop! What are you doing there? Hey! Hey! <laughs> but, yeah. but I want to take it a step further. So we're going to get into the slide of hand. I got a question for both of you. Have either one of you been to Vegas? Uh, yeah, we, I've been to Vegas. Okay, so I've I actually I haven't been to Vegas, actually. For real? People know no, about, right? <laughs> Don't go down to Vegas. You're going to lose everything. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And that's why I bring up the point that in Vegas, there's a lot of gambling that goes on. But 
people don't realize that people actually bet against magicians. And there was a very popular scam in magic called the three card Monte. And what it was is the magician would walk around with three cards. So in this case, I got the two jokers and then the queen of hearts. And he would have people bet money on the odd card. So luckily enough, you all don't have to bet money. So you can't win anything and you can't lose anything. All I want you to do, as well as everyone else watching, is follow the queen of hearts, all right? But I'm going to be a nice guy and I'm going to make it easy for you. I'm actually going to get rid of a joker. So that leaves me with the queen and the joker. Watch the queen. One, two, and three. I actually have the two jokers. The queen's been in my mouth. Just like Bruh. But maybe I went too quick, so I'll do it again. I'll do it again for you. Keep doing this. Watch the queen. One, two, and three. You can see the queen. The moment you blink, that's one, that's two, that's three. I actually have the two jokers. The queen has <laughs> All right, I like that one. I like that one. I, I don't know how you did that, boy. So I got another question oh. for you both. Have either one of you ever shuffled, uh, shuffled a, de a pack of cards before, a deck of cards? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm going to show you a way I promise you have never seen done before. So I can show you that I have a pack of cards here. All the cards are, in fact, different. Nothing on the backs either. So I'm going to shuffle the cards. Watch carefully. Just like that, all the cards are now in order. King through ace. That's all the hearts. That is all the clubs. That is all the diamonds. <laughs> the <laughs> 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 hey, you think you doing so? You ain't doing that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> boy, this joker right here, boy. I got to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> so now what's going to happen is I'm going to push my phone back. And so I actually have a table here. And so for instance, if I, want to show off, if I wanted to show off a little bit, it would look something like this where I can spread the cards. And uh, let me see if I can do this for you. Uh, okay, right here. You spread the cards and you do this little move and you flip them over like that. Now in Magic, there's something called a card control. And I'm going to show you right now. So you all should be able to see that all the cards are in He's throwing off and everything. Ah, <laughs> ah, 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 you trying to slide that in here on us, Jenny. He ain't doing that. <laughs> like, look at him, boy. Look at him. Look at him. He good, too, boy. Look at him. Yeah, he good. He, he good. He good. He's pretty good, too, with him, boy. Hey. Oh, earlier, I mentioned that. Uh, I watch you around my pocket when we meet in person. <laughs> I ain't bringing no cash. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So you... I'm gonna try something for you all so you should be able to see once again that all the cards are different now, i want you to pay close attention i'm going to give the cards a cut and we'll just take a look at the top card so in this case uh the ace of diamonds i'll place the ace of diamonds right there all i gotta do is give the cards another cut right about there and i'll do it one more time to make it harder all i gotta do is snap my fingers and there's another ace. That's the ace of spades. That's two aces, two more to go. I'll give the cards one cut. I'll give the cards two cuts. All I got to do is take the deck and just throw it. And I can actually catch the other two aces. <laughs> 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 Hold on, do that one again. I think I caught you then. <laughs> yeah, to watch you, but you got six fingers on both hands. On both hands. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to do is I need one of you to help me out for this next one. Uh, so which one of you wants to go for me? All right. I'm, All right. I, I, I got to go. Okay, perfect. So I want to make sure uh, you can see this. Can you see? You can't tell what the card is, but can you see the blue card in there? All right. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go through the deck like this. And in a moment, I'm going to have you call stop whenever you want. So as I go through, just call stop. Stop. All right. Do you want to change your mind or stop there? Uh, you flip one well more after I said stop. Now I'm just playing. <laughs> now I'm <gonna> stop now. <laughs> okay. So remember the ton of diamonds, all right? All right. You could have went one more, had the eight of clubs. You could have went one less, had the four of clubs. But you chose the ten of diamonds. That's a good choice. Inside this glass, there's been one card and one card only. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. 
Boy, I don't know. You got to be, hey. Boy, I can tell you this much right here, boy. You got, you, you, you sure you're a magician, uh, you got, you might be some kid to a genie. I don't know what's going on. Like that. Something There's some funny going on here. There's some witchcraft. Chris Angel, David Blaine. Oh, that's actually my two. I actually grew up watching them, so uh, that's where I kind of got my magic from, uh, just, you know, taking a twist on it. Ah, uh, I got to watch you. This next one, you definitely got to watch me. Cause what's and you life? definitely can't come over my house. <laughs> if you do, you can't bring no bag with you. You can get it, son, too. You can't bring no bag with you, cause I know you will carry something out of there, boy. I gotta watch you. I need to take you down here to Bank of America with me. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, which one? Which one of you wants to go next for the next one? Go ahead, ma. You got me. Go ahead. All right, all right. Perfect. So I want to make sure uh, you can see the blue deck, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go through the cards one by one. Just call stop whenever you want. Stop. All right. Nine of clubs or the queen of hearts? Which one would you want? Queen of hearts. Queen of hearts. Watch carefully. I'm going to place the queen at the bottom. Now, you chose a red card, and that might seem completely random, but it isn't. Because what happens is if you choose a red card from a blue deck, the cards will change to red. Every single card in the deck will change to red. <laughs> Every card. But I'm actually lying to you a little bit. See, as I go through, you're going to notice that there is still one blue card left into the pack. And that one blue card is, in fact, your card, the Queen of Hearts. But if you blink it, it changes to red. See, there's actually never been any blue card. And bro, I got the one, two, bro. Man. Just no matter what. No matter what. Bro, I got the one, two. <laughs> <laughs> he got, he got cards in his hands man like that so i need actually both of you are going to help me out for this next one but one of you's gonna can you make a million dollars appear <laughs> right. I'll, I'll have to try that sometime but uh we'll have to but you good though hey i don't know i can i can't catch i i can't catch them all i i, need, I might need to let somebody else get in here because why i'm you got to be some kin to David Blaine, David Copperfield. It wasn't the David. You in that yeah. <laughs> You What you yeah. say your name was again? Cameron, but uh, I'll take a compliment like David Blaine or David Copperfield any day. But you want to, you, but you, you, you like that dude in Invisible. <laughs> I don't but know. I think you'll like this next one a lot. Uh, so this one is going to have both of you help me out, but only one of you can go at a time. So who wants to go first? I got to go first. Okay. Yeah, so then go first. You can see that all the cards are red, except the blue card on the top. Now, this is the card that I call a prediction. I'm going to leave that right there. And I want to make sure you, as well as everyone else watching, can see all the cards are different. All right? And it's very, right. very easy. As I go through, one by one, call stop whenever you want. Stop. Right there? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to give you the option. Do you want me to put this card down or put it back in the pile? Hold on to it. This one? You want this card? Yeah. Okay. You chose the uh, three of hearts. That's a good choice. My prediction was the three of hearts. That's a really good choice. Okay? But I want to... Uh -huh. No! Uh-uh. No. Uh -uh. mm -mm. Pray for Jesus. Something wrong. Mm -mm. <laughs> Someone with that amount of energy. Oh, that's yeah, 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 that's him, man. <laughs> but, uh, so, anyway, so now it's just me and you, but you were left uh, to do this. So, he chose the three of hearts. That was what my prediction was. Now, there's 52 yeah. cards in that minus one. So, there's 51 cards left. Give it, uh, name a number between one and 51, any number in between. Mm, 44. 44. Check this out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That is 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 
31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. This is the 44th card, and that is, in fact, his card, the three of hearts. Man, bro. And as you were going bro. last, <laughs> at 44, well, I'm trying to get all these cards straightened out, you would have had a completely different card. Man, you need to teach some classes. You on YouTube? Uh, no. I mean, originally I was going to do it, but then if I'm teaching people my stuff, then, you know. <laughs> right. Money <laughs> Because they'll be figuring it all out. But uh, I wish you stayed uh, for this last one because I was going to finish this off for both of you. I don't know if you're still in here or not. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to invite them real quick. Uh because I wanted to finish this off with both of you. So hopefully he'll join for two seconds. Nope, he declined. All right, as long as he's watching. Or whatever. <laughs> but, you know, he, um, getting to where I am today, I mentioned I performed for a lot of pro athletes. Um, okay, mm -hmm. ho hopefully you can stay for two seconds. Uh, but anyway, I've gotten to perform for pro athletes. I've gotten to perform for people all over the world. And getting to where I am today wasn't exactly easy. So I actually grew up in Naples, Florida, and uh, my father ended up walking out when I was younger. And then I all ended up losing my grandmother. Oh, now, okay. Now he's back in. Okay, hold on. We'll have to restart that whole uh, thing. But uh, let me see if he joins. Hello? Perfect, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to have you on for this because uh, this is really a new moment right now that I wanted to share with both of you. Uh, so... You know, people always ask me how I got into magic. And magic for me wasn't just, you know, picking up a deck of cards and becoming good. So as I was mentioning to him, I grew up in Naples, Florida. And uh, unfortunately, my father ended up walking out when I was younger. And then I ended up losing my grandmother and both my great-grandparents. And so I wanted to share to people that nothing is impossible. And that's exactly what magic is about. And earlier, you asked me if I could change cards into a million bucks. Or I've had people ask me if I could make a brand new car appear. But that wasn't the true definition of magic to me. I always said if I could do any trick, I wish I could take a playing card and change it into a watch so I could go back in time and bring back the family I lost. And that, to me, that is the true Go on, definition. have to rewind that one, man. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Just that was literally right in front of my face, bro. Well, I don't know what you just did then, but you can't never come on my house. Okay, <laughs> you gotta be careful. You always gotta be careful because you'll miss where I change it into a watch. You you can't come on my house. <laughs> well, I appreciate I appreciate you uh, joining. You need to take him. You need to take him to Walmart. Everybody you know banned from my house. I hang out with y'all in public because we can just. Be walking by people coming up, but <laughs> I already know. But you, but you, but your nickname should be Clep, though. It look like you'll take some. Golly, you so good with that, boy. Hey, man, need to take him to Walmart, man. Nah, he ain't going to Walmart with me. Mm -mm, I ain't with him. I ain't with him. <laughs> mm -mm, ain't with him. Come out of there with some pizzas and some TVs. Hey man, it was pretty good, man. I, I, I definitely, you know, I definitely see you going places. You feel me? And yeah. I, yeah, yeah, I, I wish you the best, man. You that that watch trick. Yeah. That my watch. God damn it. Right. <laughs> that my watch. Hell no. <laughs> I stole my wife through the Instagram. Fuck that. Damn it. Pray for peace. <laughs> well, it don't take a sign. No, I oh, uh, um, I'm only 19, so I started when I was 16, uh, and I've been doing this for oh, snap. Okay. For the last three years. Uh, so, you know, it's, just, it's been amazing, uh, you know, just being able to share to people that uh, even if they don't really like the magic itself, as long as I'm able to inspire others that, you know, Nothing, nothing can hold you back as long as you know you go at it a hundred percent. And so I've been able to yeah. do that and, uh, be an example. But I appreciate. It. So what I'll do is uh, I'll create a post in a minute and I'll tag uh, both of you in it. But it was super nice to meet you um, as well as him. And I appreciate you coming on, my man. Yeah, thank you, bro. It was nice being on your show, bro. You're gonna do big things, bro, for sure. Uh, I appreciate. It. Thank you so much, man. Peace. Peace.
How I get out of here? I don't know what I'm doing. I I ended it. Uh, uh, hold on. <laughs> There. Okay. Anyway, everyone that just joined, uh, that was absolutely one of my favorite shows. Uh, make sure you follow me at Cam Diaz Magic. Uh, you know, this, like I said, this is more than just blowing people away. Sharing my story about what I went through as a younger kid, and you know, becoming to be where I am today. It, it's amazing. So. Make sure you all follow me at Cam Diaz Magic. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, peace, love. Thank you all.